So tell me if this rings true to you. You have your beard, your haircut, and everything looks good, sort of. It's getting really annoying, so you go get a haircut, and then you're psyched, and you look at it, and something looks a little off. Something just feels like, uh, I maybe I shouldn't have cut it. Something like that, and it, and it has this like weird shape to your face, and you're like, I guess it's good. I mean, yeah, it feels good, it looks clean, but there's something that's like, just a little off, and I think this is it. So I've been actually applying this theory for about two years now. This is a long-term tip. Like, this is something I've been doing, and it absolutely works. So let me show you what I mean. So the first thing you wanna do when you are trimming your head or shaving it or whatever is make sure that you stop right at that ear level right here, so right where the top of the ear is, go straight across, and make sure that your barber or stylist does not cut below. Keep it all, don't have them blend it or anything. That's the first step. Just make sure that you keep the material right above there. Next is don't taper that. It might feel strange to not blend it in and everything else is perfect and blended, but this part, I think, is key to leave long. So let me show you a couple reasons. So if you're looking straight on, you will see how much percentage of my ear that you can See, it's, it's kind of hidden by a lot of it, right? That's the first thing. This beefiness up top really helps balance out the bottom, like how much weight there is down here and how much beard there is down here. Having this here when you get it tight here really keeps it from getting this weird hourglass shape like this, which is what I did for years, and it just looks weird. And I can show you really quick a before and after of as soon as you see that much of your ear that's that close to your head, it doesn't matter if your ears are big, pointing out, whatever, it's right there how much you see. It should be kind of a straight line down. So if I just push this in, you'll be able to see how much more ear. So if it's out, and then here is that sideburns. It's all about that sideburns. If this is normal, nice and thick, like run, all down there but as soon as it goes in you get this weird shape and it just doesn't look right and then from like far uh having it tight here and then straight and tough and beefy all around there really balances it out so if we get close see what i did here is i just kept it out so when i so when i trimmed it to clean it up all i did was i just took my comb this is from Beard Brand, by the way. And I just took it out like this, and I went straight up just getting the little, little bit of long hairs. Here we go, gotta get this bottom here. So that it's straight up. There's not, none of this angle, no blending, like you would figure. Now, even if you have a front-heavy beard style, having and the, the sides trim and everything, that's fine, that's cool. But still, the, the method applies that it shouldn't necessarily be longer here on the jaw than it is here if your hair is tight on the side. If you have normal hair here, then that works, that's fine. But if it's tight, I really, really think that it should be this like puff of sideburns. And that's really the trick. And I'm telling you, once you start doing it, you can't unsee it. You'll see everybody's haircut. It looks like an hourglass, and their head shape is odd. And then it makes their shoulders and neck look a little strange because, not because their head's small there, is because it goes in and then out like this. And then if they are bald, the skull does that too. There's this little divot out, and then it goes around. It's like, it's really strange. So this theory of basically just growing out the sideburns really heavy, grow them really heavy, and then when they're out at its longest, it's the same length as this corner side. And everything forward, do as you normally do, everybody's different. But I think that the sideburns, which is a really significant and overlooked part of the beard, should be just as like dense as everything else. These sideburns, that is a key area that's just often overlooked and often removed. And I did it too, I get it, but it's not a good idea to trim this down. And I'm telling you, once you start doing it, once you grow them out and just don't touch it, and if you have a shaved head and you're bald, I would recommend just a take that line right from the ear and just cut it right down, just like a nice corner so, so it follows the line of the ear. 
I'm telling you, I see a lot of people who just trim it off and I've done it before. It looks weird. It looks really strange. And once you start doing this, it's, it's going to be really hard to look at anybody's beard and be like, oh, yeah, that looks right. No, you got to grow this out and keep it straight. That looks right. That's what's strong. So if you have any other problems with your beard or styling, comment below, and I hope this helps. And if you're interested in any of the gear I recommend, uh, there's a link for that. All of my gear is listed in affiliate links. I'd love it if you could support me and check that out. And um, until next time, cheers.